So I'm getting ready to do the water sign reading. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you've detached from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So let's see what do we have for water signs. So we have indecisive. And then you have habits. So somebody feels like a habit, this could be a certain addiction. Kept them in the energy of being like indecisive, not being able to make the right decision. And this could be when it came to a certain situation, a certain person, they just didn't know what to do. It's like they, instead of making a decision, they just avoided the situation. They avoided a person. And they have a habit of doing this. This is someone who did not expect to change. So maybe this person is like accustomed to something. They weren't ready for change. They could have been shown something and they were very indecisive about it. And they prevented their self from changing something that they were supposed to change. We have reflection and then ego. So this is someone who allowed their ego to get in the way of um, this could be a connection that they want to have with you. But being away from you have helped them to reflect. It has helped them to gain more clarity. This could be someone that's going through some type of ego death. Yeah, they didn't feel worthy of change with unworthy being here. This is someone who feels like you're a better person than them. They definitely ran from this connection with the runner being here. Yeah, because they feel like the, the way that they feel about you, they've never felt that way before about anyone. And now they feel like they've missed the opportunity because they didn't act when they should have. They ran because they felt like something was just too intense. But this person also had some type of habits that they thought that they would never change or they just didn't have to change. They became accustomed to the energy that they were in. Yeah, until it became too much. Ten of Wands. And it's like, now that they have gained clarity, they're weighed down with a lot of guilt. Because now they don't want to run from the connection anymore. Yeah, it's like somebody was under judgment and they didn't know. They've definitely been hiding this guilt with the Ten of Wands and the Moon. They don't want anyone to know that they're weighed down with guilt. But with the sun being here, this person is, is like, people can see. Whoever is around this person and they don't want them to know that they're weighed down with guilt, everybody sees this person as if that person is like naked. They can see right through this person. Yeah. And they know that this person is wanting to come back towards you, reconcile with you, six of cups, reunite with you. Yeah, but somebody is afraid of rejection. They feel like they've missed this missed the opportunity with you. Yeah. Something backfired and they feel blocked off from you. 
But this person is regretting. This could be different people or somebody that was trying to create blockages or be a blockage to this connection. Because if they didn't see it in the past, they're seeing it now. And they could feel like you've walked away. You've withdrew from the connection. You've moved on to greater endeavors in life. You've moved on towards your true fulfillment. Yeah, somebody was blinded to the fact that another person was trying to like keep them stuck. Somebody was trying to keep them like bound, confused, blinded from the truth. Now, this could also mean that this person is someone who did not want you to know about some type of addiction. Like they avoided you because there was a lot about them that they hid from you. Like they didn't want you to know. Because they want you to view them a certain way, but they kind of like ghosted you. Maybe they expected for you to chase after them or they just ghosted you and they um, they felt like they had to disappear before you seen the real them. Yeah. You're definitely someone that's not a fool. So you could have definitely knew that this person has some type of bad habits with the hangman um, popping out in the reverse. It's like you were already enlightened about something or you could just tell or see something. Now, if there was a third party, somebody else that was trying to create blockages to keep this person away from you, they thought that you would be affected by this, but you weren't. You're someone that knows your worth. Ace of Cups is here. You could have been focusing on self-love at the time. So you weren't interested in um, focusing on another person. But yeah, somebody wanted you to be stressed out or in your head about this person ghosting you. Now, if this person it have released whoever was trying to keep them blocked off and they're wanting to reunite with you, reconnect with you, but they are in fear of being rejected, um, this person is in the nine of swords. They're stressed out. They're in fear of this person coming towards you for a new love relationship with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles is here in the nine of Pentacles. You're the single person. That person could be single. And they're wanting to come towards you to start this new venture. This could definitely be a soul contract that you share with this person. Yeah. Yeah, somebody definitely was expecting for um, another person to like chase them down for sex with the Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. So this could have been a karmic partner that was trying to, you know, keep that person stuck, keep that person bound to them. And this was definitely through lust, passion, temptation. They didn't expect for them to overcome this. Like somebody has gained their strength, their courage. Somebody could be celibate as well. Like they're no longer in this Knight of Wands energy. Somebody is focused on their nine of cups, their true wish fulfillment.
I'm also getting that if this person tried to create some type of blockage, it backfired and they were rejected. And this person that is wanting to reconnect with you, they walked away from them. Whatever was keeping them attached to this person, they removed that energy. It's like they've cleared out that energy and it has this person stressed out. They're stressed out about how strong this person is. They're upset because they can no longer like tempt that person. They have too busy winning. So somebody could feel like you're too busy winning. You weren't affected by this. They, this didn't get to your head. And you have dodging bullets. It's like you don't even be around certain people or you don't attract negative energy. Especially if you're someone that's very positive. You're very guarded when it comes to your energy. This could also mean the person that wants to reconnect with you, they block off this person because they feel like this is someone that's negative. This card also says it's um, escaping crazy people. So they... They could feel like this person is mentally unstable and they've dodged a bullet blocking this person off and clearing this person out of their energy because this was a wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah, this person is also a spiritual hater. And if this wasn't a relationship, this was a karmic friend. that tried to like create some type of blockages. If this wasn't this person's karmic friend, this could have been a friend of yours that you cut off. That person was trying to block your love life. This person feel like you have stepped into your power. You could be a spiritual healer, a spiritual teacher, and they hate it. This is someone that you walked away from because you could not fully trust that person. There would be tension between you and this person and you didn't understand why. It's because this is someone that was secretly competing with you. Your light irritates that person's demons. And if they feel like they did something to block this person off from coming toward you, they were trying to like... It's like somebody thought that they had created some type of blockage for your love life and they felt like you and them were going to reconnect with kissing ass being here. And this is after they created some type of drama in your life or an obstacle in your life. Yeah. So this person ghosted you because of whatever it is that they didn't want you to know about them and information that Somebody came in and gave them about you. With no facts being here, they didn't have proof. This was something that was a lie that was made up. And um, they found out that this person was someone that was secretly in competition with you. You cut them off because you couldn't trust that person. And they were upset. Yeah. Because this person was definitely, if they ghosted you, they were looking into your life, watching you with creeping me in here. And you didn't know because you were focused on something else or you just withdrew from the situation. Yeah. Now, whoever this friend is, if something happened with your car, if you started having car issues, um, this could have been a repossess because this, this car says repo, car issues, carless. With Hook and Carlos popping out, somebody probably could have got towed. This friend had something to do with a car being towed. Oh, so done. If your car got towed or there was some type of issue with your car, this friend had something to do with it. Somebody was that mad and upset.
Yeah, somebody thought that once you, it's like you walked away from this friend and this person ghosted you at the same time, but you didn't know that this friend had a hidden agenda. Before you walked away, they could have reached out to someone that they felt like was into you. You were into that person and they tried to sabotage it. And they could have been asking you like, hey, have you heard from that person or something like that? And if you hadn't heard from that person um, or you just told that person that you hadn't heard from them, this made them feel like they got over on you or they did something to you. They one up you. Now, whoever this person is that ghosted you, they hated seeing you with whoever this friend is. There could be something about this person that they knew was shady or off, and they just did not like seeing you with that person. This is someone who knew that you were the one when they first met you. And they just didn't expect for you to withdraw and walk away. Yeah. This is someone who wants to treat you the way that you deserve to be treated. Your energy is very intoxicating to them right now. It's like pulling them in. This is someone who cannot get you off of their mind. Every time their phone rings, every time they get a notification, a text, they think it's you. Yeah, and they're up in their head about the actions they took, the way that they acted, and they're wanting to make things right. Now, whoever this karmic friend is, they could be stressed out because they know that you're not confused. Because I'm getting you don't you don't talk to this person. You're not involved with this person. You're not around that person. They're not around you. So if they did this thinking that they would be able to block your love life and stay attached to you, they didn't expect for you to walk away. Like this person just thought they had you stuck and they would just sit back and watch you be blocked off from um, things that they felt like they didn't want you to have. This is someone who did. This is the type of friend that don't want to see you doing better than them in a relationship at work. Just overall in life, period. They want to feel like they're above you. You're beneath them. You have to catch up to them or something like that. And it's like, it's because they're secretly in competition. You're not. You could be someone that's very supportive, um, very helpful, very kind, nurturing, very loving. This could be someone that you... um. You encouraged a lot to become a better person or just be the best version of their self and they didn't want that. Because this person is very like narcissistic. They feel like they're above everyone else. Yeah, we have temperance. Yeah, they're in regret because they feel like you're this temperance. And somebody could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, this person is disappointed because they feel like you've gotten your energy balanced out. Like you can balance out masculine and feminine energy. They see the growth. Like you've grown a lot since you've walked away from that person. They know that you know they were envious and jealous. Especially if they knew that you felt some type of way about another person. They could have been interested in that person. They could have wanted to sleep with this person. 
they could have tried to sleep with that person. Knight of Wands to try to one up you. Yeah. They feel like whatever move you have made, the direction you took, it was a positive move. You're happy. You've started a whole new adventure. You're excited about life again. And you're in this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy. Everybody around you see this light in you. And you have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's like you're doing something that you're destined to do. The sun is shining upon you. This is someone who feels like success will follow you no matter what you do. This could be your divine counterpart, like somebody that you're destined to be in a connection with. You and that person already share a deep bond and they felt like they were blocking you and that person off physically. Even if they didn't know this was your divine counterpart, they seen this lover's energy. And they felt like they had to do something to try to create a blockage. They felt like this would be a successful union, relationship, partnership between two people. You and that person will shine together, have great fortune together. If you're online, this person is like stalking you online, watching you online. Um, if you're posting videos, pictures and different things like that, they're fishing for comments. They're looking through your comments to see what other people are saying about you. Yeah, they're definitely watching to see if you and this person have reconciled. They're watching to see if you and this person have reunited. Yeah. Because they don't want that person to know that they lied. But whoever your divine counterpart is, is like they already know that this person was wearing a mask. It was something about that person that they did not like. They didn't like seeing you around that person. And this could be someone that they didn't know. So once they came to your divine counterpart with these lies, these rumors to make you look bad, it was confirmation to your divine counterpart that this is someone that was a, um, a hidden enemy to you. Yeah. We have faded meeting, so they know that you and them have a destined faded partnership. whoever your divine counterpart is. And they feel like this person was someone that was trying to interfere. This person was trying to confuse them. Yeah, it's like whoever this person is, they are, this person is not happy. They were celebrating when they did this, but now... This person just feel, it's like they, they're embarrassed. Somebody thought they were going to be able to manipulate your energy, confuse your energy to stop you from manifesting new love. This could be after you got out of another connection. This could be with a karmic soulmate. And if they seen that you were like nurturing yourself, queen of cups, loving on yourself, you have kids taking care of your kids, just focusing on your home life. They felt like this is what you were manifesting, a significant other, a partner. And they wanted to try to block you off from that. And it backfired. Yeah, they're depressed. Now, if they seen that you were healing, this is someone who thought that this would affect you. You know, it would stop your healing process. It would have you going through a lot of anxiety and panic attacks. 
And as I say, if this isn't a friend of yours, vice versa, this could be someone that was attached to your divine counterpart, a karmic friend of theirs. They were trying to block off your divine counterpart from their destiny. They knew before your divine counterpart knew. And they could be going through a lot of negative karma with divine intervention being here. If your divine counterpart was very indecisive um, and they ran from the connection, they could have went through divine intervention as well. Because there's some type of habit that a karmic friend did not want them to change. And this could be this party energy. Definitely like a Knight of Wands type of player energy with the player being here. They didn't want them to come out of that energy and manifest um, this true partnership that they have with you. Yeah, they definitely did not want them to heal or improve. As I say, this is the type of friend that does not want you to be doing anything better than them. They're not supportive. And you could be the type of person that will support them all day. You want what's best for them all day, every day. But they don't want that same for you. There's no equal give and take in this friendship. And somebody needed to see this in order to be able to walk away. Yeah. And manifest this um, union that they have with you. It's like somebody needed to put their pride, their ego to the side. And stop avoiding something that um, they already knew. Like they know that this person is a hidden enemy. Maybe they were in denial and they didn't want to believe it. Sometimes people feel like if they, you know, support a person enough, show a person um, enough love, they'll stop being in that energy that they're in. Like they could have felt like they could change that friend. But now they're realizing the only thing that they can change is the energy that they're in. You can't change a person that does not want to change. Okay, so this card says one day when you least expect it, you are going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart. And you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. So whoever your divine counterpart is, they were very closed off when it came to um, relationships and things like that. They could have been accustomed to like, just hooking up with people, partying, having one night stands in this player energy. And it's because they weren't seeing their worth. They didn't feel like they were worthy of manifesting this type of relationship that they want with you. Now they feel like you're that person that they did not expect to run into That has helped them to get out of this indecisive energy, has helped them to break habits that they felt like they would never change. Yeah. So this is something that needed to take place so your divine counterpart could heal. They needed to see this person for who they truly are. They needed to see the hidden motive. So they can know how to deal with this person. So this is someone who felt like they had some type of control over your divine counterpart. Yeah. And now they're in regret. Because this person has sat back and watched you grow. 
And they have definitely watched your divine counterpart grow. You've inspired them. And whatever they said about you, your divine counterpart is seeing how far this person was willing to go to um, block their love life. 